In this video, we are going to draw the Statue of Liberty that's in New York. This is another traveling around the world during pandemic series. So we are going to have a mini trip to New York this time. Fun fact, did you guys know that the Statue of Liberty was actually brown when it was first made? But over time, the oxidation happened, so it became teal. Anyways, how do we draw this oxidized greenish statue cute? Well, my trick has always been making the head big and chubby and the body small and cute. Now, without further ado, let's get started. I'm starting with a circle at the top for the head and under the circle, I'm drawing a long bell shape for her robe and making the bottom part wavy for the ruffles and right underneath, I'm drawing two rectangles for the platform. I'm drawing her left arm staying up with a circle at the end for her hand and the right arm staying down but a little shorter because she's folding her arm to hold the tablet and I'm drawing a rectangle for the tablet and a water drop for her torch. Now I'm drawing the spiky crown on the top of her head, so I'm drawing a headband that sits on her forehead and then drawing 5 spiky lines. And I draw a long triangle to add the volume to those spikes. About halfway, I'm drawing the ears on both sides. I am drawing a bang, so it starts from the middle and goes to the ear like a curtain. Although she has a hair bun in real life, I am going to make her hair down to make it cuter. Now I'm drawing her neck, and on the right shoulder, I'm drawing a big bow to make the robe extra cute. There are lots of ruffles and wrinkles in the photo, but I'm only going to draw two layers on the left side and one layer on the right side. So starting from the bow, draw two wavy lines to the left and make the bottom skirt flare out more. And draw one curvy line on the right side. And draw some lines on her left arm and neck to show that she's wearing a t-shirt. It's time to draw the hand, so I'm drawing one big circle on the left for four fingers and a small circle on the right for the thumb. Before drawing any more details, I'm erasing the rough guideline so that I don't confuse myself. If you look at the photo closely, the tablet has a little dent on the corner, so I am drawing that. I think her ears are a little too stuck out, so I'm scooting them over to her face more. I'm giving her the smiley eyes because she symbolizes liberty, so she should be happy. I'm giving her beautiful eyelashes and a crease on the eyelid. Her eyebrows are a little covered by the bang, but that's okay. Lastly, for her face, I'm drawing a smiley mouth. To make the drawing look more realistic, I'm adding some wrinkles on her drapey robe. I'm finally shaping the torch now. I'm making the three pointy ends to mimic the fire. To draw the fingers, I just draw two lines inside a circle. So she has only four fingers instead of five. To make her extra cute, I'm giving her the earrings. I think a star earring will look great with her spiky crown. Add 
As one last step, I'm drawing her top hair behind the crown. The pencil sketch is pretty much done, so let's move on to the permanent marker. I'm using a black marker to draw the outlines. I'm switching to a pen to draw small details like wrinkles on the clothes, star earrings, and some eye details. I forgot to draw the hair behind the crown, so I'm now doing that with the marker. All the black outlines are done, so let's erase all the pencil sketches before moving on to coloring. Fast forwarding the coloring, I'm coloring the entire thing with teal except the fire. But for you, if you want to have more fun, you can have pink, purple, or even rainbow colors. On the fire, I used three different colors, yellow, orange, and red, to make it more realistic. But while this orange is drying up, I'm drawing the stripes in the crown with a black pen. I'm giving some juicy highlights using a white paint marker. I'm imagining the light is coming from the top left, so I am drawing the highlights on the left side. Since I already added the highlights, I thought why not add some shadows? So I'm using the teal, the same marker I used to color the whole thing to add the shadows. Since the light is coming from the top left, I add the shadows on the bottom right. To have more fun with the drawing, I decided to give a pink blush on a cheek using a pink paint marker. 